In some news straight from the not shocking department, Minnesota Fighting Vikings are reportedly interested in keeping veteran left tackle Riley Reef on a restructure. Hmm. Uh, Chris Thompson tweeted this out. Vikings hoping to restructure Riley Reef's contract and keep him at left tackle. If that doesn't happen, candidates to become, uh, then become Ezra Cleveland and Brian O'Neill. Cleveland could work cheap for a few years, but O'Neill would command more on an extension if he goes from right to left. Yeah, that would be the Vikings... Uh, that, that would be so Vikings, where you have this great right tackle, you move him to left tackle right before he's about to get paid. Oh, that costs you an extra five, six million per year. That, 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 that. Uh, now, we've gone over how the term restructure has become a catch all in, in when, when people actually mean pay cut. Like it was reported last year uh, that Reef restructured. Now, that, that was a $5 million pay cut where he was able to claw back $2 million in playing time incentives, which he did. Uh, so it, it is semantics, but it's important. Yeah, we slip up too. Uh, but uh, I, we think it's important to be as precise as possible with y'all. Uh, now, the term restructure means the player gets the same amount of money uh, that was due to them on their existing contract, but the team changes when they take on those pay cuts. And with Reef, they can't do a traditional restructure of turning that base salary into a bonus and then spreading it out because he only has one year remaining on his contract. Reef has a base salary of $6.65 million in 2021 and a $5 million roster bonus that's guaranteed on March 19th. Uh, the Vikings can free up $11.75 million by cutting or trading him uh, before that time. Uh, 3.7 million dead, but also 2 million from his playing time incentives from 2020. So it, it should actually say 5.7 million dead. But uh. now going through a few sample restructures uh, without giving Reef a new contract. Number one, lowering his base salary and then converting that into easily achievable incentives, which would kick that money to the 2022 salary cap, uh, which uh, like they did in 2020. Uh, say the Vikings keep you know, a $5 million roster bonus in place, but they dip his base salary down to $1.65 million just for ease of math. And then you have $5 million in incentives. And they can be easily be hittable. Like, hey, play 50% of the snaps and fog up a mirror. You get your $5 million bucks. Uh, so that, that would be appealing to Riley Reef because he'll get the money, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then that would lower the 2021 cap hit by $5 million and, and then move it to 2022 uh, if and when he does hit them. Uh, whether Riley Reef is here or not, uh, that still has to carry on the Vikings books. Or you know, they could do like what the Steelers did with Big Ben add voidable years uh, to the back end of the contract to spread out the cap hit uh, of that bonus, uh, adding three toilet paper years to Reef's deal and then spreading out that $5 million roster bonus to $1.25 million per year for the next four years, which would save $3.75 million in 2020, uh, but then they, they would have to carry dead cap uh, for the next three years. So that would be a workaround to get to a traditional restructure. Uh, but uh, in both cases, Reef likely sees the same amount of money, but the first one is technically a pay cut, uh, and the second one is uh, you know, just a, a long way of getting to a restructure. Uh, and Reef played phenomenally in 2020, frankly his best season as a Viking. He was sublime in pass blocking, allowing only 20 more pressures and one sack on 567 pass blocking reps, only had one penalty, and his 74.9 PFF pass blocking grade was 12th in the NFL amongst left tackles. Now, I, I would like Riley Reef back. I do not want to move O'Neal. And that was uh, part of the bluff. I was like, hey, Riley Reef, take a pay cut or we'll move Brian O'Neill left tackle. I, I, it wasn't going to happen. He's already become one of the better uh, young right tackles in the game. Let him be there. Plus, I'll save you on the extension. You know, let him become Lane Johnson and then go from there. Uh, and the problem uh, of moving Ezra to left tackle is that uh, if you let Reef go, then you just open up another hole on the offensive line, both guard spots. And I do believe in Ezra at left tackle long term, but hell, maybe he surprises everyone and, and turns, uh, gets that anchor going and becomes a very solid athletic interior uh, guard, and maybe they go that route. Uh, bottom line, I think removing Reef from the team does not help the offensive line in 2021. If the Vikings are all in, protecting Cousins and getting a solid blocking front of Dalvin Cook, it, it doesn't help. It would really be subtraction by subtraction. Nah, nailed it. And now this should not preclude them from potentially drafting a left tackle in the draft. Like if Christian Derrissaw is that dude at 14, go get him. Or if Slater somehow falls, go get him. Uh, Dylan Radden's day two, Sam Cosme, Leatherwood, Wheeler Walker Little Jr., James Hudson out of Cincinnati. Uh, just because you have Reef back... Uh, for a one-year deal, that doesn't mean that you should not be drafting all that tackle depth. Uh, oh, but what about Ezra? 
Yes, but what's so wrong about having multiple dynamic athletes capable of playing left tackle, especially when they uh, do have positional flexibility and be elsewhere? I mean, the Chiefs found out in the Super Bowl that depth matters, and if you're going to have Mike Remmers play left tackle in the Super Bowl, you're going to have a bad time. So bring back Ryla Reef. Even if it is on a small extension, they can figure out a way, tear up his existing deal, give him, say, a two-year extension, uh, where, which lowers his cap in 2021, but does give him some guaranteed money, and then we give the Vikings flexibility in 2022. Because what if Ryla Reef continues this high level of play? It, it would be nice to have control of him, uh, as he does probably have you know, two, three, four really good years left in him uh, in his career. So, yeah, keep Reef. That it is so weird how one good season uh, can turn you into a reef apologist, but here we are. Let's go get it. Let's build this offensive line, protect Kirk, and let's score 50 a game, and then let's move on. Boom. Let's do that. Be your thoughts. Ryla Reef restructures. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Once more, that work. Post some of the web mode. Until next time, Skull Production Value.